Yes, hello and welcome to my channel, Craftbox. Yes, as you can see, I'm currently assembling battery cables here. And I have a pair of pliers here to repair the cable lugs. It works really well. So there is a set available for these pliers with cable lugs. I'll certainly provide a link for it. You can view the video description here. I believe it's just over 30, so that works really well. This is a great pair of pliers for up to 50 square. Can I crimp with it? So I would like to demonstrate in this video how to utilize these cable lugs. You can easily crimp, so I'll show you my tricks on how to do it simply. Yes, the cable lug is well secured, yes. If I now have the 50 square cable here and attempt to fit this cable into my small shoe, then I really have problems. So I keep attempting to twist the cable slightly to make it a bit tighter so that it fits completely into the cable lug, but time and again, without success. A few strands are left out, and yes, it's frustrating, challenging, and it's not really how it's supposed to be. And I would like to demonstrate in this video how you can do it perfectly. It's very, very straightforward. And I'd also like to demonstrate how I usually cut the cables. Normally, scissors are used for cutting these cables. However, I always use a cutting disc and an angle grinder for the job. This gives me a perfectly straight cut without any crushing, so the strands aren't pushed off to the side. And yes, I'm just going to start here. So that's all for now, and if you can see it, well, where are we there? So you see it's a very clean straight cut, and then you can put on the shoe very easily. So I'm going to go over here and simply cut the length here with a standard utility knife, about this length here. There's a window at the back so you can see whether the cable has reached the front. So I'm going to place a mark here with my thumb and start from here. Remove the insulation. So the insulation has been removed. I can bring them forward now. Now the trick is on you. Simply split the whole thing in half again. and take off the top half. The lower half is essentially there for this purpose. Right, so we can properly fit our cable lug over there. So I'm going to push this up here. Then we have everything nicely fixed. Now I'm going to use my cable connector. And now I can do this wonderfully. Get over it. And now I'm cutting down here. The remainder, which I must handle carefully to avoid cutting it. So when we have the rest available, then you can also remove it nicely with this insulating paper, which is still attached here. 
you can remove it wonderfully. And lo and behold, I am wonderfully comfortable in my niche here. Now, of course, you could apply some heat shrink tubing on here beforehand to make it look neat, but I'm just going to proceed this way. Now I'm going to secure it, and then I'll demonstrate how it works so brilliantly with the pliers. So we take the pliers and adjust them to 50 squares up here, of course. Depending on the type of cable I have, I can naturally also modify this here with this mechanism. You can set various significantly different sizes here. Sixteen squared, twenty five squared, thirty five, one oh six, and we need the fifty squared. So now I'll try to play the whole thing. Once. Twice. A bit too high still. And then I'll try this down here. Three times. So, that's what it looks like. I'm leaning then. I wrapped a bit of insulating tape around it and then one side was finished. Well, that's what I do with my cable terminals and when crimping my battery cables. If you have any tips for me and for others who enjoy watching here, it would be great if you could share them in the comments. Every piece of advice is always valuable. And the simpler and safer the process, the better. Yes, I handle everything here, of course, because I also construct my own batteries for my photovoltaic system. If you require additional information on this topic, you are welcome to view some of my videos on the subject. Simply browse through the playlist. You will find several videos there. Yes, and if you like this channel, it would be great if you could subscribe to it as well. Of course, this would certainly help me to raise further awareness. And yes, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and, of course, turn on the notifications so that you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. And on that note, I hope you have a great day and enjoy your work. Take care. Ciao.